Okay, I picked up this Congo recently and it has a pin 2 DMD in it, but it is like 10 years old and has ancient firmware on it. So I'm going to attempt to update the firmware and then install color files because when I got it, it was just green. And I was told by Dino Zorba's, the pin 2 DMD guy, that my firmware was so old that I had to update it from, I think I was on 3.12. I had to update it to 3.2, which is like a prerequisite in order to update it to the latest firmware, which currently is at 4.53 or something like that. So I actually successfully updated it to the 3.2. So now that I've got that far, maybe I will share this information because when I was looking it up, <clears throat> it was kind of um, not easy. So I'm going to try and do it nice and easy breezy, the shenanigander way. And uh, all right, let's give it a shot. So what we want to do is pop out this SD card. That is step number one. All right. Then I stick my micro SD card into this adapter and pop it into my laptop. Okay, this ain't for the faint of heart. Let's see if I can find this path again. Okay, to get the latest firmware, go to pin 2 DMD. This is what I did anyway. Clicked on this, pin 2 DMD. Down here somewhere it says firmware, how to install, click here. Then, um, the latest pin to DMD files can be found here. Then it says firmware new version 4.55. Click on that. Then I click on 4.55 latest. Do I know that I'm doing this right? Not really, but hopefully. Then there's all this crap, and I think this is, you know, different size displays. You got your XL, you got your... I think this is standard. I don't really know. Um, 128 by 32, 128 by 16. That might be your standard display, and that might be the skinny display. So I'm clicking on that. And then I believe... It's a UPD file, right? Okay, so I click on that. And then it took me a minute to figure out how to download it, but here it is. And then I just kind of randomly clicked on these three dots and it gave me the option to download. So I did that. And then over here, I click on the file. And so that is number four the fourth time I've done this. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is cut and paste this file. How do I do this? Copy. And is this copy right here? And then paste it onto my SD card, okay? And that should be paste, right? Yeah. I'm going to delete uh, my old file that's on there. Yes. And then I'm actually going to rename this because it doesn't like having any numbers there. Just like when you install color DMD files. Okay, now we safely eject the SD card. Now it is safe to remove and we'll see if that worked. Okay, so you got the little metal pins facing down. If this works, this will be a friggin' miracle. And um, okay, so I'm gonna just set this display up. 
Okay, so when I power on the display, in theory, it should say updating. And then um, we should go to 4.53 or 4.55. I'm not sure which one will actually show up. Oh, that's a good start. Uh, 4.53, holy hell, that actually worked. That is a small friggin' miracle. Okay, next step installing the color file oh god just a little side note that i noticed if it still applies on the newer pin 2 dmds it tells you which um, size your dmd is right there 128 by 32 so that's handy here's what the display looks like just sort of in default before any color gets added i think this is just a three color palette here uh, like I said, when I first got it, it was just on green only, which was pretty cool. But this machine was done up like 10 years ago and there was not color files back then. So this is basically the before. Well, green is the real before. The three color palette is the medium before. And then uh, hopefully soon will be the uh, after. Check this out though. Even this is still pretty darn cool. Okay, so Dino Zorbas is basically your, your uh, Canadian Pin 2 DMD guy. If you need a Pin 2 DMD, you want to turn your machine into a, you know, make it colored and awesome, then you can go here, contact Dino, and uh, he'll hook a brother up, okay? He put me in contact with a fellow named... Uh, Jean-Philippe, he is a dude that has colorized, I don't know, maybe 10 machines or something. And so I reached out to Jean-Philippe. I sent him a $35 Canadian donation because he is also in Canada. And um, yeah, I was chatting with him a little bit. This is his YouTube channel here. He's currently working on Judge Dredd. But he has done um, a whole whack of games. No Good Gophers, Attack from Mars, Sopranos. Oops. I didn't mean to click on that, but... Hey, look at that. I accidentally clicked on Congo. How fortuitous. Anyway. He sent me the file in an email. I downloaded it. And it should be right here okay and right here click on that and there it is so I need to just copy these and paste them onto my SD card and pop them in there was something he said about making sure the files re were renamed properly so let me just check on that it says make sure you rename the files FSQ and PAL. Okay, looks like my files are correctly named. I don't need to rename them at all. So I will just copy and paste them onto the SD card and be right back. All right, why don't I take you along on this ride here? Pop that in. That should pop up right there. And then we'll delete that. Could, you know, potentially um, format the SD card, but I'm not gonna do that. Drag these over and safely eject hardware. Yoink this out. And um, we might have color, boys and girls, so I'll meet you at the machine. Okay, here we go. Pop that back in. You do have some configuration buttons here that you can use to change settings and whatnot. I don't think I'll need to um, do any of that. Hopefully not. But I'll fold up this display and 
power on the machine and see what happens. All right, here we go. I feel like, uh, I feel reasonably confident that this might actually work. Let's see it. Come on. Oh, that's a good start. I see green numbers. It's looking good. Yeah. We've got color. All right. That wasn't too horrible. Now, Rob, who I bought this machine off of, you're going down, buddy. I'm going to wipe off all of your high scores. Uh, let's just power on the machine. I mean, start a game. And just kind of do a couple random flips. See what pops up here. You know how hard it is to play one-handed with not even being able to see the machine. But there it is, we've got color. And uh, it's pretty friggin' awesome. So thanks Jean-Philippe, thanks Dino Zorbas, you guys rock. And uh, you know, if uh, you want any color DMD action, then you know where to go. Give me a free skill shot, yeah.